Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your July 2023 Is It In The Cards Love Tarot Reading. This is a love reading for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday, so if reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading. Those will hit on all areas of life. Mondays are a different style every week. Today is the only day of the month that I do a love reading. Next week on Monday, it will be an entirely different style of reading. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, we are going to start today's reading with an oracle card reading, a love reading, and then we'll go into the tarot. Then we'll do the angel answers. All right, what advice do you have for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus about love, please. Okay, we'll start here. You start off with, that's all right, we got two, we take three. Get to know each other, learn to meet another's need for love. So even if you're in a relationship, understanding that person's needs, whether you want to say it's the five love languages, whatever it is, they're really getting to know what makes them tick, what fills up their love tank. Then you have be authentic, be real and true to who you are and know how you feel. So it's not just one-sided. It's not just about what do they need, but also too, not being afraid to tell your partner your true feelings. I mention this periodically when people say, oh, I can't say how I feel or they'll run. Then they say, then they're not ready for you, not for a love like yours. Embrace your emotions. So there's kind of a theme going on here. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. So there's a real key there about accepting feelings and I think too accepting people for who they are so now we'll hear from the tarot what does Aries sun moon rising and Venus need to know about love please what advice do you have for Aries to attract the love of their lives into their lives please advice and guidance for Aries about love okay we will take three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you are attracting, three cards in the advice, and we'll hear from the angel answers. Your energy is the world, the um, strength, and the sun. That's nice. Their energy, they've got the nine of wands, the ace of pentacles, and the seven of wands. The advice is the star. This is getting nice. I'm going to take uh, the ten of pentacles and the devil. I'm going to take this bottom card. I have to. It's you and your own energy. I, I have a policy, if you haven't watched this channel, if it's you and your own sign, it has to come along for the ride. It's important. Look, I keep hearing that thing about being true to yourself. And if there's somebody around you, if you've been in a relationship or especially with the devil, now we know that in the order, I'm going to just pop this out a minute. It goes the devil, the tower, and then the star. Okay, so there's something important here too. It's like they're trying to tell you letting go of an old toxic cycle is going to be for you. And with this emperor energy, see that little trickle in the backdrop? It's a reminder, you're a divine being. That's really who you are, first and foremost. So if you've had some toxicity and negative relationships, I see the energy that you're putting forth now, right here in the right now. And even if they've told you negative things, if they've given you negative feedback, you're difficult to get along, you're demanding, you're whatever. Listen, that's not who you are right now. And so I do feel like as you attract, you're attracting somebody here who wants a long-term relationship. And if they do have something going on with them, if they live at a distance, there's something about their energy that makes me think that they are worried about some area of their lives and if you'll accept them. Or even if they've had to overcome some financial issues, I do feel like they're on the right path there. This is not about attracting projects or repeating past cycles. This is about being a brand new you, being who you are, showing up who you are today. And with this, this is a lifetime partner. This is somebody who commits and it's you. So with the energy that you're putting forth, my God, you're going to have them lining up. Now we have here six major arcana. That's important when we only have nine cards. Technically, we have 10. But with this, you've got a new cycle. And I'm telling you, the love is going to, it's like a floodgate just opening up. And so if you're single right now, I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of attention, a lot of praise, even from people who aren't interested in that way. But, you know, they're noticing you and they're almost just, it's almost uncomfortable. It's the amount of praise where you start to feel like a little bit like, can we put our attention on somebody else? 
but you are a bright light and that's what's coming across to people with the energy too of the world if you're moving and you're single right now once you make that move it's like a brand new fresh clean slate it's going to be awesome but with the energy of the world overall, it's the culmination of events. And I also hear too karma, but what I think it really means is more like the energy of law of attraction. Like you kind of get back what you are. And so I do feel like if you've had somebody who was jealous or envious of you in the past, and like I said, they were taking your inventory, they were trying to tell you what your hangups are. I just don't see that coming along for the ride, not with this. And so with the energy of strength, you've overcome something and it's huge and it's created you for who you are. It's really contributed to many positive aspects. You're compassionate, you're deep, you're mature. And with the, um, the energy of the sun, that's synthesis. So it's really drawing and attracting the right people and people too, who can be happy for your successes. They can be in the stillness with you if there's sadness or sorrow in your life. It's somebody who will really know you on a deep, deep level. And so you don't have to explain yourself. And I also get too, if on the more mundane level, you are with somebody where you'd have to explain your humor and have to explain things because I just keep getting this explaining thing. And so I feel like there's a key to that. There's a huge point in that saying, whoever it is that you're attracting, it's like, come as you are. And this is a fabulous high vibrational energy. So you're attracting people that are successful. So they're not going to be intimidated or you know, try to minimize you. You're not here to play small. You came to evolve and you came to be in the energy of love. And I'm telling you what, with that energy of the sun, it brings in an openness. It is a card of pure positivity. It's hell yes, and it's all right here and it's right now. So the person you're attracting, I mentioned they've had some struggles, um, but I do feel like they've got a new chapter with this Ace of Pentacles. And maybe if it's them that's moved to the area, I do feel like there's something about them wanting to start over wanting to be in the place that they are right now and, and learn from the past, grow from the past, but not live there. So that nine of swords for them too, if it's a bad relationship, because that devil, that toxic energy that's in the advice, it really is about leaving delusions behind, being aware of yourself, of who you are. And so they may have come to grips with some things even about themselves. And with the, and I feel like they they've done some online surveys. They might not tell you that right away because they think it's embarrassing. You know, it's like, oh God, I'm, I've been reduced to this. But I do feel like it'll come out eventually where they are trying to really understand themselves better and kind of that, how did I get here? situation but with that seven of wands man they've had to fight for some things and if it's you that they're pushing towards i do feel like they're going to be persistent with you they know a good match when they see one but i also feel like you do too so i do feel like if there's some obstacles they're going to overcome that but with that ace of pentacles that is a solid stable relationship that's here to run the distance that's not for just now it really is a relationship that evolves and i like i said i feel like they've learned so you're not going to be with them experimenting and doing a trial and error through life where you're always having to support somebody because they keep screwing up not with this again with this too it may be also their family of origin was challenging but i do feel like they've risen to the occasion this person has some grit They've got some fortitude and I like it. I like their energy. Um, so with the energy and the advice, this is fabulous, harmonious energy. But with the devil, it's about letting go of that. I wouldn't have minded. I probably would have screamed if the tower was there. That would have been really exciting. But with the devil, it is about limitations. And it's also too being together for the wrong reasons, staying together for the wrong reasons, oftentimes material. And we know, Aries, how you can get when your money's messed with. You don't like that instability. You like to be secure and firm with finances. And so if it was something like a relationship that you stuck around in a little too long because of some financial ties, I just don't see you repeating that, especially with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is the wealth card, but it's also leaving a legacy. It's being in a relationship that's here to run the distance, that's also harmonious in all areas. So people are going to look at the two of you and say, my God, where did you find each other? How do I find this? It's like they're going to feel that energy around you and that compatibility. And with the star, talk about compatibility. You've got a wonderful companion here. You have, too, this energy of really caring for each other, but not caretaking. 
Okay, there's a difference there. It's like you've got a love here that evolves, that's got depth and maturity. And it almost feels magical, like, you know, finally finding the one. Now, if you've been in the relationship, though, for a while, and they've had some trials and tribulations, I don't see that ending as much as letting go of that old negative pattern, that toxic kind of pattern. Because with the star, it is wish fulfillment. It's a beautiful energy coming towards you. So again, like we say, there's an energy that says meditate, be in that place of being a divine being because your divine being doesn't get mad the way that our mind does. All right, what else does Aries need to know about love, please? Messages for Aries about love. What advice do you have for Aries about love? Guidance for Aries and love, please. Trust, trust that this person is here. They are manifesting you. The universe hears you and is bringing you together, especially in the energy of the sun. You have success. This one reminds me of the chariot. Now, I didn't even get into who's here, did I? You have Capricorn, Aquarius. You've got Leo here. You've got Taurus here. You've got earth, air, and uh, fire. So, again, you're manifesting somebody. And you have look for a sign because those signs and synchronicities are leading you forward. Within the next few weeks, I just heard try something new. Get out and try something new or try a new approach. They keep saying that. You've got a yes, all right? So is it in the cards? Yes, Aries, it's in the cards. I love you too, and I'll be back again soon.